Anyway, uh, Mr. Cornwood, uh, how are you doing, sir? Uh, I'm doing good today. Doing pretty damn good. Fantastic. Uh, well, let's we'll start with the uh, first question. Do you know what position you are you are interviewing for here today? The uh, the sheriff position here at uh, at the BCSO. Wonderful. And you understand that uh, we are interviewing you, correct? Hold on, you sure about that? Mm-hmm. That's not what I got in my damn notes here. What oh, exactly what do you got written say? down? What you got written well, down there. Uh, well, I, I thought I was conducting the interview. No, 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 sir. We're we're interviewing oh. you for the open sheriff position here at the, the Lane County Sheriff's Office. Okay, well, that throws me off a little bit. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, okay. Oh, you thought this was American Idol and I'm Paula Abdul? No, that, that's not what I said, ma'am. I thought I was doing the interview in here. Anyway, what are what are all y'all's weaknesses? I care too much. Oh, we 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 do you, do you have any previous uh, previous management history or previous experience? Yeah. Yeah, well, hell yeah, I do. I was, spent 20 years as sheriff over in uh, Rust Island. Sheriff of the best damn well policed island here in uh, this side of the Mississippi. Hell, that side of the Mississippi too. Whole damn world. Yeah, I heard about that place. Francis uh, was uh -huh. over there for a little bit. Said he had a real good sheriff. Real good, real good guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, des describe some of your uh, your, your role or wh what you did as a sheriff on Rust Island. Well, uh, well, I did damn near everything. Uh, I wrote the law. I enforced the law. Okay. If someone did something wrong, I took care of it. If someone didn't do something wrong, I found a reason why they did something wrong. Okay. And we made a new law for it. Oh. Could you give an example? Give an example. Yeah, mm. the latter. Uh huh. So uh, let's think of a time. So over on uh, over on the island, they were building some new developments over on Rust Vegas, uh, or a new development called Rust Vegas. So what we do? Uh, we went ahead and uh, set a law, instantiated a law where uh, everybody had to uh, pay a fee to to be able to build over in Rust Vegas. Uh, that fee did not exist. However, uh, that's something that I did in order for the police department to be able to raise funds. To be honest, okay. I didn't even file. I didn't even file the damn requests for uh, for any land ownership, whatever. I didn't give them no D. I just said, okay, thanks. Here you go. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Hell, actually, now that I think about it, they could have easily just done it without asking me. But hey, I made out like a bandit, and that's all that matters. All right. I want you to make eye contact with me. All right. And make eye contact with me. Okay. All right. I want you to. Spell sheriff for me. Uh, spell, spell sheriff? Spell sheriff, yes. Uh, the word or the location? The word. Okay. Salami, hot dog, enchilada, rice, ice cream, uh, fajita, fajita. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. Sheriff. Absolutely. Another unique phonetic nope. alphabet you're he can, using. He can, he can spell. Well, let me ask you a right, question, Jose. If you were okay. flavor of ice cream, what would you be and why? I don't know. I'd be your favorite so you could eat my ass. Okay, well, I appreciate the offer, Jose, but uh, I ain't interested. Okay. What well, that was a good you? answer. What, what, sort of, what sort of flavored ice cream would you be and why? Uh, Probably vanilla, to be honest with you. Why is that? Yeah, why is that? Well, I, I'd get vanilla, but I'd, I'd change it up a little bit. You know, I'd, I'd throw in a few sprinkles here and there and... Uh, How the fuck do you do that if you're the ice cream? Are you gonna do a fucking shot? Yeah, I just, I just, I, He's I just, just throw it on myself. On himself. Here's the thing: vanilla goes with everything. You can't go wrong with vanilla. All right. Classic. So hell, just like me, I can fit myself into any damn situation there is. Good, bad, ugly, indifferent. Mr. Corn, what flavor ice cream would I be? Uh, probably chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Uh, well, chocolate and vanilla go so good together. Chocolate's my favorite. 
It's like a damn, mm -hmm. like a damn swirl twist ice cream. All right. And I think you are going to be a damn good officer someday, Andrews. I think you learned a lot from me so far. Yep, That's 100 so nice. percent, Mr. Corwood. <laughs> Great. Uh, did you have something, Nancy? You sound like you were say something. Oh, what do you think about pistachio ice cream? Pistachio. Um, yeah, pistachio. Ain't I ice cream though. Pistachio ice cream. You put me put nuts in your damn ice cream. What the hell is that? You never had pistachio ice that cream. That sounds like a I damn commie ice cream. cream. What the hell is that? The, o the only thing say, worse, I'll tell you, I'll be honest. Did you say commie uh -huh. ice cream? Okay. I'll be honest with you. The, the only thing that's worse than damn commie ice cream is damn that, that Napoleon ice cream with chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. You know what they do? That damn, well, we won the damn Louisiana Purchase. Why the hell we got a damn ice cream named after him? Let's say you, uh, you're rolling with Bass, right? You're in the passenger seat. Bass is driving. Kind of driving uh, a little bit recklessly. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe maybe doing 100 miles an hour down to Spucci. Uh He tries to make a northbound turn onto, uh, let's say, Elgin. Oh, right? I thought you said reckless. Yeah, yeah, recklessly. 100 miles? In the city limits? Yeah, that's, 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 that's well, reckless. That's debatable. Anyway, he tries to make a turn. He takes out a fire hydrant and uh, uh, Ken Sama that's standing on the corner. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, he shatters his pelvis. Break his kneecaps uh -huh. and you, uh, bend a rib. Okay. Right? Just the three of you guys that uh, know about this, and he's talking about suing the department. Well, hold up now. What happened to the damn car? Well, the, the car has is, is, is got his blood on it and a dent from the, uh, the fire extinguisher. Oh, right. that's it? Yeah, it's pretty damaged. But uh, oh, yeah. anyway, what would you do with that situation? Well, the three of us know. Myself, Bass, and Ken, right? Mm-hmm. And what, what, what's Ken, what, what's Ken going to do? He's talking about suing the department for millions. Well, I'll be honest with you. It's a whole hell of a lot easier to deal with two people knowing something than three people. I'll be honest. Okay, I mean, but what, what, would you try to cover for Bass? Would you? Well, hell, I can't, can't be going up against the... Uh, officer of the uh, law like bass right so uh looks like we got to get rid of ken uh if you could choose one song to play every time you walked into a room for the rest of your life what song would you choose and why <laughs> and then after you answer those questions i'm gonna get you to exit the room and come in singing your song <laughs> one song for the rest of my life mm-hmm mr cornwood yeah, yes Okay, well, you gotta let him know. Let him know what? That's the song, let him know. Oh, all right. Oh. Walk by, outside, come in singing it. Yep, by the, yeah, the Long Way yeah, Corn Boys. The Long Way oh. Corn Boy. Uh huh. And wh why would you choose that song? It's a damn good song. They wrote it about me over on the island. I'm sorry, you have a song for yourself already? Uh huh. All right, yep. this will be going to hear it. So you have to the... walk out and come in yep. singing the song. Yep, absolutely. Left Ross Island for a simpler city life. But all he found was a prime field land of strife. You see it on the side from sun up to sun down. Hell yeah, brother, there's a new former sheriff in town. Working overtime at the burger shot, sniffing out commies in the parking lot. Not letting commies too, cause I let him go. Sheriff, lead us long way, corn, we're gonna let him know. You gotta let him know. Pretty damn good, huh? Yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That was good. That was lovely. Yep. Uh, seeing that you have sheriff experience and management uh, experience, um, I'm sure Rust Vegas or Rust Island is mm -hmm. extremely different than Los Santos. Uh, is there any laws or 
regulations for the police department over there that you would like to bring into Los Santos? Well, this place has got a whole hell of a lot more laws than, than what we had over there. I, hey, I, oh, I, so was, I'll be honest. We're, we're handcuffed as hell. We're, we're supposed to be handcuffing the damn criminals. We're handcuffing ourselves. That's the damn problem here. We're, we're going out there. A little bit? Yeah, I'd love to. Listen, every damn criminal here, for some reason, thinks they're some kind of lawyer. And they can do whatever the hell they want. Okay? We don't got no authorization to, to fire when we need to. The damn, every single damn bank robbery, they get away. Okay? I, not only that, they're all doing all kinds of illegal drugs. Doing all kinds of whatever the hell. And we ain't, can't do nothing about it. Okay? And hell, I'll tell you where the problem starts. The problem starts in the fact that we ain't got no damn police tractor. That's the real damn problem that we got. We need to order damn police tractors. Just vehicles of large stature and speed. Okay, people think tractors are slow. We got some damn fast police tractors. You're going damn near 100 miles an hour. With that kind of size, you got some momentum going in. Okay? You think you see the pit maneuver? You ain't seen a pit maneuver yet. Not until you seem to go like a police tractor. Hell, not only that. People doing these damn these damn vaccines for this damn corona, whatever the hell. I thought corona was a damn drink. They're putting microchips in the damn fluid. The damn government's checking out on you. So now what? We got to we got to get these damn microchip vaccines here in the here in the department. That's some bullshit. Because then then hell, you know what's gonna happen? Them criminals are gonna be able to keep track of us. You he makes complete sense. What do you think a vaccine is? Perfect sense. Huh? What do you believe a vaccine is? Do you hear that? What's that? What? Shh. Uh, <laughs> um, Hold on. Oh. He's he's too oh. fat to 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 squeeze himself between chairs. He's been out. That's fine. He just got the flashback from the side. He's fine. Very secure. Sorry. I thought they were. I thought they were here. I thought they were back. What were we talking about? I believe we can probably move on from this. So you tell me, oh, so you, why, why did you apply you for this job? Who? You, Andrews. Mr. Cornwood, you you applied for the sheriff position. Huh? You, you're being interviewed by us. Oh, right. Okay. All right, Mr. Cornwood. All right, uh, let me ask you one question. You have, like... Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire to your left. No, that's not a that's not a good one. Uh, you have Harry Potter <laughs> in the Deathly Hollows to your left, and then to your right you have the Communist Manifesto. <clears throat> can I? Can you I can only burn you? one. You can, can only I, burn one. Can I? Can I switch your question up a little bit? So, yeah, switch it up, please. Okay. So I feel like have, he doesn't know he's a communist. You have uh, a, you have an article. Hold, on, hold up, uh, Andrew. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Listen, hey, ma'am, you listen to me, ma'am. You listen to me, ma'am. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Cornwood. I, 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 go, I go to church every dadgum Sunday. I go to church every dadgum Sunday. You do not bring them commie demons out on me, okay? You want to with corruption? What the hell are you talking about? I didn't say that. You have a you have an article. You have a a very good article written on World of Warcraft paladins on your left, and then you have the communist manifesto. Yes. On your your right. Yeah, Which oh, one are you right. gonna burn? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, this is a group point. Your left or my left? I'm sorry. Your left or my left? What do you mean? Is it? You said on his. Where is it? On the left it, or the right? It, so the the World, the, Warcraft, the, the, the World of Warcraft, the World of Warcraft, uh, Paladin, article. Is on your left. Uh -huh. Communist manifesto is on your right. Uh -huh. Which one are we burning? Well, I, I don't know what that is. But I do know that's some damn evil. That's what that is. That's some damn evil. 
Just from what I can tell you, the paladins, they're just as much communists too. Mm. Well, listen, yep. <clears throat> you uh, got any more questions, Tony? Preferably not about world of fucking Borgraft, well, here, you virgin well, motherfucker. Here, here, I'm gonna be honest, okay? <sighs> I, I think that this virgin. right here, this could be either... I mean, this is some damn evil. This could be even more evil. That's what I don't know. So, I, I mean, hell, this is getting kind of hard. Yeah, I don't know why you're asking questions okay. about something you know Here, most people don't know about. Here's what okay. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna burn the damn copy book. He's do you yeah, have he's, it? He's don't fucking shower, okay? Him. None of us are those people. I'm gonna burn the damn copy book. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna go here and uh, I'll probably confiscate this one, you know, just for my own research, finding out the their evil ways. Okay, that way we can combat it. That's what I would do. <laughs> I don't have any any other questions, so I don't know if you guys uh, have more for the uh, the cornball. Yeah, yes, have one. you ever fucked on this couch right behind you? Or would you be interested? Uh, yeah, that's the part. That's the part that you can fuck Soze for the position. So, are you interested? Well, I, I, I mean, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I appreciate the offer, but uh, I, I don't, uh, I, I, I don't necessarily, you know. I, uh, I can wear a wig and say my name's Shelley if that helps. I, no, hell, I, if you said that, I might, I might. Trust me, you don't want to say might, that. Okay. I might shoot you. Yeah, you might. I might shoot your ass if you say that. Listen, I appreciate okay. the offer, but I, I, I understand it's. It's two thousand. It doesn't seem like you want this job. Oh, Listen, I understand. It's a real hypothetical. So I, I understand. I don't actually want to get fucked right, by you. Right. Okay. Does that mean I could get the job? Here's, here's the question. Uh, here's here's all I gotta Hollywood. say. Mm -hmm. Okay. All I gotta say. I understand. It's 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 a different day and age than from how I grew up. It's you know two thousand eight. All this kind of stuff. I get it. Obama's president. Things have changed. That's that's all I'm saying. But I just personally ain't interested. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, what Any year is this, this, folks? Uh, 2000... Huh? What'd I say? 2008? I think... Yeah, it, all I right. Think if, uh, if Hollywood made a movie about your life, mm -hmm. who would you like to see play the lead role as you? Hmm. Eddie Murphy. That's one. Okay, Two. Eddie Murphy. Uh -huh. okay. I think he could do it in a nice suit. I actually think he could pull it off quite well. Uh-huh. I'm not sure if that's okay in 2008, though, guys. Because I mm. know oh, it, it's never mind. <laughs> it's okay. Well, I mean, you, you can probably answer that one, Tony. I'm not sure if that's okay. <laughs> if Eddie Murphy's doing it, yeah, is it okay? Oh, oh yeah, it's it's 100 fine. Nobody, nobody will say. Okay, anything. okay, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, uh, Murphy won. Hell, I got three actually. I just thought of another one. Uh. Two, number number two, Chuck Norris. Oh yeah, I think I think you could definitely pull it off just with a slight, and just wearing two extra t-shirts. That's all, just to give you a bit more pop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And last but not least, George W. Bush, the second most American man after oh. me. Mm-hmm. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leave. Kissed me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star